Good morning guys, last full day out here in Jerusalem. It's already like 6.50 a.m., <laughs> I almost said p.m. But right now I'm about to head downstairs to the tour desk and I'm heading on the Best of the West Bank tour through Abraham Tours and we're highlighting or checking out the three main historic sites to see in the general area. So I'm gonna grab my bag right now and uh, we're gonna head out of here. I'm guessing it's on the same tour bus that I've been on the last like five, six days. There's our bus again. So we got probably about a 45 minute to an hour ride and we're gonna be at the first stop for our Best of West Bank tour. Hi, my name is not Muhammad, or Ali, or Ahmed, or Hussein, or Abdullah. My name is Tamar. It means generous, I'm not generous. It also means a good heart, I don't have a good heart, I'm a dictator. You have to do what I say. I decide that today is Ramadan, you will be fasting. And if there are clashes, we take to the clashes. You can collect souvenirs like bullets, sound bombs, tear gas. You can participate also if you want. We start with Jordan River if you want to get baptized, check the water first. Then we go to the Rose of Old Jericho. Then to Ramallah. We'll have the chance to meet Mr. Arafat. Maybe have whiskey with him or tequila. Look in the market, the famous Stars and Bucks, the Palestinian version of Starbucks, and the original Times Square that the Americans took from us. Lunch will be in Bethlehem, and the Church of Nativity, and the hotel that was designed by Banks himself. Way too early for this guy. All right, so after about a 45 minute ride, we made it to our first stop. We made it to Kaser Yal Ahud. I'm probably slaughtering that, but this is basically the Jordan River where Jesus got baptized by John the Baptist. And now uh, we're actually walking down the stairs right now, and I think that's, oh, that's the border area. So this is the border area, and this is, I think this is part of the Jordan River right here. I actually see some soldiers right over there. And this, this is the Jordan River? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's Jordan oh, yeah. in front of us. That's Jordan right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. So if we if we cross over, we, we got to show like a visa and like show like a passport? Can't, can't I don't know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> so that's kind of crazy that it's uh, it says border ahead and that's Jordan right over there. And told me we can't really cross it, but this is the spot supposedly where John the Baptist baptized Jesus right over here, so. Take a step into the Jordan River. It's chilly. <laughs> it's pretty deep. This is absolutely incredible. The water is pretty cool, and uh, there's actually soldiers like right over there on the Jordan side. So, and there's Israeli soldiers right behind me. So he said, like, you can't really cross, even show your passport or anything like that. He's like, I don't know you if you do that. Hi, Jordan. This is amazing, though. We're having fun. So John the Baptist was like on that side and Jesus walked down the stairs right over here and he swam all the way to that side on the Jordan side I guess and that's where he got baptized but this is such an incredible experience. I remember my baptism years years ago. It was a completely different experience <laughs> but I think we're gonna hang out here for a little bit longer get some more shots and then uh, we're gonna get out of here and head to Jericho next. Right. Ready? The bus. Let's do it. Woo. Whoa! Greeted by a giant peacock. Yeah, he's like a show off. Like, <laughs> he's got some, yeah, big, big show off right over here. <laughs> Hijam's palace. We are now at the ruins of old Jericho. The ruins of all? The ruins. Ruins of Jericho, okay. Of the old city. Of the old city, awesome. Yeah. I guess we're gonna watch a movie right now about Jericho. So we just watched a quick film and as the tour guide was saying we made it to the ruins of Jericho also known as like the ancient city of Jericho and uh, Jericho is actually the first city and the oldest city in the entire world and uh, what the video was saying is the first city wall was built out in Jericho a long 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 time ago and they also discovered art um, and a lot of other like ancient religions or some of the first religions ever belief was to start in Jericho and it's like dug deep 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 in the city which you can find right now we're exploring the ancient ruins of Jericho this is absolutely insane and I think we're gonna be here 
for 30 minutes, he said. Okay, so we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna try to get the drone up. I'm a little nervous of it because the border of Jordan's like right behind us, but check this out. Whew. This is the ruins of Jericho. And like Jordan is, oh man, that died somewhere. And I love this, there's so much history here since, especially being the first city ever known to man, or the first city founded in the entire world. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, look at this. So you can actually, I think, get a cable car over there and take it all the way up the mountain. And it looks like the cable car stop is like right over there. I have no idea how much the cable car is, but still pretty cool that you can do that here. And uh, the city is like right behind me. It's a really, really hot day, but not as bad as the last couple days. So I'm actually gonna shoot a little sunscreen on and then uh, explore the ruins a little bit longer and then we're gonna get out of here. So maximize my 30 minutes here. Great success with the drone flight. And uh, the city is absolutely incredible right over those mountains. It was just like a huge stretch of desert. And a lot of people were actually asking me from the tour if I'm able to shoot a drone up, if my drone is gonna get shot down, but there's no warnings. So on the DJI Mavic app on the drone, there's typically a warnings when you're by like a military base, when you're by an airport, um, a lot of things that doesn't allow you to fly, the app gets updated and uh, there's no warnings around here. So there's no issues flying the drone, hopefully. And uh, I think we're gonna get out right now, but city of Jericho is so much history and it's absolutely incredible. Another fun fact they actually said during the movie is um, I think pottery was created around here. So originally it wasn't just known as pottery. It was made or meant to be made for uh, storing food, storing vegetables and whatnot. And I actually think I'm going the wrong way, but that's kind of cool that a lot of the first was from Jericho. But I think we're gonna head out right now, try to dodge the sun and uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get out of here. Which way do I go? They're like walking this way now. I guess I'll go this way. In just a short walk away, we ended up walking to the original water spring that supplies Jericho with natural water for agricultural and drinking water. It's an extremely, extremely old spring. And shortly after that, we ended up driving over to Aliphat's tomb where I wasn't allowed to film. I wasn't allowed to get any photos. After that, we had a quick, quick lunch. And the very next spot we checked out was very special. So lunch was really, really good, and we just drove about 10, 15 minutes, and we are officially in Bethlehem right now. And we actually made it out to the Church of Nativity, which is right behind me. And uh, this is actually a really, really special place. So this is the place where Jesus was born. And supposedly they remodeled everything from the roof to the tiles to the floor everything and uh, also they're saying that it's, it takes about an hour and a half to five hours just to get in supposedly depending on the tours depending on the day uh, let's see if we can even get in built by emperor justinian in 539 you could say it's the oldest church in the world wow. now when he built it the main entrance wasn't small like now it was big entrance before but people used to reach the church before not with the cars or buses like you did, with the camels and the donkeys, and some of them wanted to enter the church with the animals. So they made it smaller once in the 12th century, the arch, but with the arch, they didn't solve the whole problem. They made it more smaller in the 16th century for avoiding entering with the animals. So you can take pictures everywhere inside the church and watch your heads. So I guess we got really lucky. It's the oldest church ever, and uh, we made it inside the Church of Nativity. We are doing, we are using 13 steps, you know, to reach the birthplace of Jesus. At your right hand side, later you will see a star that marks the spot where Jesus was born. In the middle of the star, you see kind of big hole, but it's not a deep one. You could touch the original floor of the cave. That's the place of the birth. Wow. So the warmest area of the cave is right over there, the manger, and that's the star where Jesus was born, that exact spot right over there. 
really, really hot in here. I am sweating profusely, but this is such an incredible experience. The major is right over there, where Jesus is born is right over here. This is incredible. All right, since there's no real line. Wow, it's like really oily. All right, so there was a lot more history to it, which we actually went through. I don't know why some guy's honking. Anyway, uh, the cave is a lot bigger, so where we're at, where Jesus was born, was just a very, very small part of the cave. It was an incredible place. We actually learned a little bit more history about it. We went and saw the actual church area, and uh, what an experience. I think we're going to another church. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going to follow the tour group. <laughs> Next stop, the souvenir shop. <laughs> So of course I ended up buying a bracelet and uh, now we're heading to our last spot out here in Bethlehem. I think it's the graffiti wall. Gra is it the graffiti wall? Uh, the Wall of Hotel. The Wall of? Wall of Hotel. The Banksy Hotel. Okay. Whatever he said. Yeah. The crazy Palestinian. <laughs> the crazy Palestinian. <laughs> we are now in an air in Bethlehem. This is a separation wall that was built in 2002. Okay. As a response of the suicide bombings at that time. Now inside it's Rachel's tomb. Rachel, the wife of Jacob, it is believed that she was buried here on the way when they were heading to Hebron. Now, because it's a holy place, and this is where usually the clashes happen, uh, they built the wall in a circle. This used to be the main road from Jerusalem to Bethlehem. This is where most of the famous graffiti artists come and they do the graffitis. And out of all the graffiti, this is my favorite one. Pretty awesome. And besides the graffiti wall, last stop, the walls of hotel. The walled off hotel. Ooh, fancy. Super fancy. It's like a, it's like a speakeasy. I guess we're gonna hang out here for a little, have some drinks, and then head back to the hostel. All right, guys. So confirmed because of this wall, and we're so close to the border. I couldn't get my drone up, unfortunately, out here in Bethlehem. But it was an incredible, incredible day with Abraham Tours. And right now, we're gonna drive 45 minutes back to the hostel and uh, call it a day. And this is the best tour guide Hello. in all of Israel. So ask Ciao. for him. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Salam. Peace. <laughs> All right guys, so I made it back to the hostel. I ended up showering up and I just finished my first Shabbat dinner ever with Abraham Hostels. They hosted it and it was an incredible dinner. I absolutely love the food out here in Israel. That definitely should be one of the reasons why to come out to Israel because of the food and it was an awesome Shabbat dinner, my first one ever. And I hope you guys enjoyed my Israel vlog series as this is the end of my Israel vlogs. However, I do have one more video coming out where Abraham Tours is gonna be taking me to Jordan, specifically Petra for the next two days. So I'm really excited to vlog that as my last vlog out here. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Israel vlog series, my seven or eight videos that I produced out here. Definitely would recommend to check out Israel, although it is pretty expensive you guys come out here. So I would recommend Abraham Hostels. They have private rooms, they have dormitories. They definitely should align in the budget since it is a hostel overall, but the food, the hospitality, Everything's incredible with Abraham, especially the tours. I had an incredible time on all the tours. So overall, I would say my favorite things about Israel is the food, the people, and the culture. It was an absolute incredible experience. The food was some of the best foods I ever had. I was just telling someone at the Shabbat dinner that the salads here are so, so good. It's something to do with the oil, like they said during the food tour. And I'm not the biggest salad fan, but I absolutely love the salads out here. The culture is incredible, and the people are so, so nice. And don't forget, there's so much history out here in Israel. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed my Israel vlog series over the last week and a half, ending with Petra for the next two days starting tomorrow. And again, welcome to my channel. If you guys are brand new, my name is Christopher Lau, full-time YouTube travel vlogger. I've traveled almost all over Southeast Asia. I've traveled to Morocco, Australia, Israel. I travel all over the world creating beautiful content, beautiful videos just like this one. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog series. And again, welcome to my channel if you guys are brand new. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys smash the subscribe button. Give me a like on this video, comment down below, and also hit the notification bell so you guys are notified with tomorrow's video out in Jordan Petra. Basically, I'm gonna 
pretty much pack for the rest of the night, uh, sort everything out before tomorrow, and then tomorrow morning, starting at 7 a.m., I'm gonna head out to Petra. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this Israel vlog series. Israel probably is one of my favorite countries that I've traveled to in the last year and a half since I've become a travel vlogger, and I would highly recommend it. So thank you guys so, so much. I'll catch you guys in the Jordan Petra vlog tomorrow. Cheers, guys, and have a good night.